Hey, welcome back to the Engineer Channel. Today we're up in colorful Colorado, and we're coming at you today with a new little treat. Look at this. 1968 Chevrolet C10, which is now a K10. You gotta see this, come on back. So this is my next door neighbor's C10 Chevy pickup truck, 1968. I love the 68 and 60, 67, 68 slant nose front. I think it's the best looking old truck that they ever made. And this grill, I love the grill, the single bar uh, for the 67, 68 models. Um, just a really fantastic truck. This truck has been meticulously restored. You're not gonna believe it. This truck, this 1968 C10 is sitting on a 1996 uh, four-wheel drive uh, half-ton Chevy pickup truck frame. It's running a 350, a Vortec 350 with the uh, throttle body fuel injection. You can see the old, uh, the, the frame rail hanging down just below the cab there. The old, uh, the, all those trucks did that in, in that year. And uh, we'll get under and look and see how this is mounted, but I love that this is not, it doesn't have the fancy sparkly wheels. It's got some good old Chevy rally wheels on there. Um, it doesn't have the big window, small window slider, and it's dirty because it, guess what? This truck, you'll never see it on the road. This truck is living in the mountains in Colorado. This is an old fishing truck now. I mean, it's perfect. This truck is unbelievable. You're not going to believe it. But there you go. It's just got some old... <laughs> some wood in the bed for we're doing some work right why do you see the inside of this truck this thing is so tight the door everything all those new seals new rubbers but look inside of here the old houndstooth um cloth seats with new uh, vinyl around it. I mean, really super. Everything has been restored and all brand new. Has brand new carpets in it. Air conditioning hooked up and working. Check this out. The old 96 uh, four-wheel drive selector switches. They just transplanted it onto the dash and all that's functional. Stereo system. Here's the gauges. Let's just turn the key here. Okay. Dakota Digital Dash. Looks like it's got an I did it steering column in it. I mean, this thing is trick. The ceiling, check out the headliner. Let's uh, let's fire it up and let's hear it run. So let's take a peek under the hood, see what this looks like. There's the old Vortec computer controller. Got a nice clean little Vortec package in there, the old throttle body. And these were really a terrific engine. What made these so nice was they are so easy to work on. They are so easy to work on. They had the, um, this was the first year that they had one piece accessory set so with a couple bolts you could take everything off the accessories the old ones like if like for instance if you had to change a water pump right the old ones you had to take off the alternator you had to take off the everything was hooked to that on this this on these vortec engines the uh, water pump isn't hooked to anything so it, it comes straight off and so Chevrolet really made some improvements and made these easy to work on it's got an aluminum be cool radiator in it overflow tank 
it's got uh, air conditioning on it, and it's got the, uh, you know, it's running the original uh, Delco Remy um, air conditioner compressor. What a neat, neat package. Let's check to check this thing out underneath and uh, see what it looks like. I only had to cut a little small notch in some of the cross members to make it fit on the original frame under here. But really super clean installation. It's got saddle tanks on it now. You know, the old one used to have the tank behind the seat. And there it is. I was looking for, where's the fuel fill? Inside the wheel well. There's your fuel fill right there. So I searched and searched for the fuel fill door on this, right? Remember the old ones, the fuel fuel cap would have been here on the back of the cab because the uh, fuel tank would have been behind the seat. What's behind the seat now? Well, there's some stereo speakers back there. And you got stereo speakers in the kicks down here, both sides. Um, air conditioner, vintage air, all working just back to normal. And uh, how many kids, high school kids, would kill to have this as their daily driver? How many of us old guys would kill to have this to drive at home? Right? So well, where's this fuel? Where does he put this the gas in this thing? Well, I finally found it. It's down here inside the wheel well. So anyway, you'll never ever see this 1968 short wide, which is now a K10 four wheel drive you know, on the road because it's a fishing truck up in the mountains in Colorado and it's just going to live up here forever and be happy. And so I think, I think I might kind of be in love with this truck. So stay in school kids and study and you might be able to have a fun fishing truck like this someday too. Anyway, I'll leave you with a few, a little walk around shot when the truck was a little bit cleaner. And uh, I don't know, this is one of my favorite trucks I've ever seen. So the old C10 is now a K10 living a happy life up in the mountains. And so I'll see you guys here next time on the Engineer Channel.